You know, folks, when it comes to locating and finding crappie from the bank, a good bank fisherman, well, will look for shallow rip route, blowdowns, meaning trees that's fell off in the water, any type of structure like that will hold crappie. But I'm gonna tell you, my number one is shallow water rip route. In between the rocks, crappie will bed. The fact of the matter is, crappie are structure-oriented fish. What I mean by that, they like to bed around boat docks, shallow water boat docks, shallow rip route, shallow water where trees is blowed in, like I mentioned, uh, even aquatic vegetation that's up shallow. There's a lot of different things like that. As long as it's cover, crappie love to bet. And folks, when you're fishing with a cork and a jig, one of the things that I do to find the correct depth is simply play with it. I know about how deep the water is just by looking at it. A lot of times, anywhere from two to three foot range is what I'm looking for. A lot of the fish will be right at your feet, right at the bank oftentimes. So it's very important to adjust your cord to where the, the jig is about two or three inches from the bottom. You'll get more strikes. Now crappie's not always easy to catch. It depends on the weather conditions. Let me show you a little setup that I use when the bite is tough to catch crappie anyway. All right, folks, we'll, we'll head to the water and we'll talk more about it when we get there. Hey, man, let's go fishing. Woo! You think? There we go, there we go, there we go. Golly. This is a good fish right here. Big old black crappie, folks. Big black crappie. Okay. Let's see what we can do to... Uh, I'm going to try to get him right here. He's kind of in an awkward place right here. Come on, boy. Boy, that's a good... Look at there. Good fish. And I tell you what, I don't have long to fish because we're fixing to have some torrential rainfall nice fish right here off of the bank this morning black crappie looks like a female we're going to go ahead and get her back the spawn has begun and what i'm doing is fishing these rocks in between the rocks where these fish are let's let her go right here there she goes you know, folks, the reason that crappie felt so big is because of the way I'm fishing. Now, I'm using a little Fluger President Reel. This is the littlest one they make. It's got seven ball bearings. Um, little bitty thing, folks. And I coupled that up with a little falcon rod. It's a six-foot light action falcon rod and two pound test uh, mono this is um, vicious um, high vias mono okay i have a little bitty little old bitty float right here i mean it's not the size of a penny it ain't even that big caught that fish about two and a half feet deep with a little old bitty jig head everything's little right here today the reason why let me explain this real quick the bite's been tough the weather conditions has been terrible the water hadn't been at the right level a lot of things is happening um and when they, when it gets like this i use little bitty baits like this little jig right here and i like to use flat tail baits if you notice I have it rigged where the, the tail is flat. It gives it a seesaw action. And right now is a perfect time to be fishing this bait. Let's make a little pitch out there. 
the reason why it's perfect is because we got some waves blowing or some wind blowing straight into, into my face or into these rocks. And that little float is bouncing up and down, up and down. It's, and, and because of that, it's giving this flat tail jig the action that it needs to have. And that is a seesaw type action. And every once in a while, I'll move it a foot or so, and then I'll let it fish. See, it's fishing right now because of the wave action, because of the ripples. That's what I'm getting at. And, uh, well, maybe we found our depth, two and a half feet deep. We'll need to catch another crappie or two to, to uh, establish that that is the correct depth, but... We'll see. We'll definitely give it all we got before the thunderstorms come in. There he is. There's another one, folks. I missed him once. This is a male right here. Now, the first one I caught was a female. But this is a male right here. And I missed that son of a gun. Let's get him right here. Good fish, too. I missed him the first time. <laughs> I don't know how, but I did. Well, for one thing, there's a front. It's starting to rain right now. Y'all can see them. See that rain hitting that rock? Quit, quit, quit. And they're not really biting like they should, but let's let him go. That's a male. Pretty fish. Let's let him go. Right, right here. There he goes. I'm letting it bounce, bounce, bounce. And then I'll let it stay there a little bit. Then I'll move it about a foot. Then I'll let it repeat that. Three or four good bounces, and then move it, see? We're covering water, plus the jig has got all the action that it needs. It's got that seesaw type action. Very, very, very effective. That's not where I wanted it. Let's move up just a little bit right here. Look here, folks. There he is. Right there at my feet. Just about it. Good one, too. Not just giants. None of these has been giants, but they're just good fish. They're all good fish. I had to come back. I got soaking wet, I'm talking about. Soaking doggone wet. I had to go home. Oh my goodness. That's a good male right there. I had to go home and get dressed again <laughs> and come back. I hadn't had enough of fishing. But that's a beautiful little male right there. Ain't that a pretty fish? Beautiful. Let's let him go. Now I'm going to tell you there's a lot of tactics that would not work today. The temperature is dropping. Come on back. This is a pretty bad front right here. The temperature is really dropping. And uh, anything quick would be out of the question. There's only two methods that I'd use right now, and that'd be live manners under a float just like we're fishing or a finesse jig just like this one okay little bitty jig head and a little jig light line other than that you could just about forget it anything like an underspin or chatterbait anything like that probably wouldn't work but let's see if we can catch us another one right here. I'm just, the wind's blowing this way. Straight into my face. I'm throwing against the wind. And just letting that cork 
come towards me, every once in a while I'm twitching it like that. It don't take much action. Normally, fishing like this, when a crappie hits it, you'll see that that float go, dunk. real sharp peck, dunk. then that float will just ease down really slow normally unless there's some competition right there if there's several crappie well it might be a lot harder strike than that but normally that's how it is and it's a it's a thrill to see that and normally i wait a couple seconds a couple two or three seconds normally about two seconds i mean one two then i'll set the hook Normally they have it by then, but okay, let's walk on. We will walk down the bank and we will parallel the bank. Whoa. A hat. There he is. Golly. Woo. This one ain't that big, folks. Matter of fact, this is the smallest crappie I've caught, but mean. Let's flip him up here. That's a little male, too. Sure is. A little male crappie. They're just now starting to really come up. Uh, and it's because of the weather conditions. The weather's been bad here in the Tennessee Valley here lately as far as fronts. But that's a small black crappie. Let's let him go right here. Let's see. We'll just turn him loose right here. Maybe we can see him swim off. I love to see him swim off. For some reason. There he goes. He hit like that. Boom. I hit right on top of his head. Two and a half feet seems to be the magic, magic depth. And I'm paralleling these rocks, folks. There he is. Golly. That fish was tight. When I made a cast, folks, I didn't move that bait but a couple times. Maybe once or twice. I don't know. And that fish eat it. He was tight. That's a male right there. Come on up here, boy. That's a little male there. Or oh, a pretty good size. Fish, I hadn't caught anything big. <laughs> Ain't that beautiful? Beautiful, beautiful fish. I think a crappie is one of the prettiest fish that they are on the planet. Let's let him back. You know, folks, the fact is, I have to fish weather conditions to catch crappie consistently throughout the year i have to change i can't fish the same way all the time as y'all know we mix it up on this channel and the reason is is because of weather conditions now when it comes to cold front situations this is the deal folks little light jig heads little baits light line little bitty floats little bitty equipment everything downsized it'll make it a lot of fun and it's sporty and you're going to always catch a few fish when a lot of other people fail i want to say god bless each and every one of y'all thank y'all for all the great comments every doggone thing y'all do for this channel is appreciated Whoa.
Let me put the, the rod down. Whoa, dog gone, man. Hey, whoa, whoa. And remember, go fishing when you can, because it's good for you.